Is one of them the demon or not, Mac? It's possible. Where there's murder, there's demons. What is the lurker a demon? Certainly has the makeup, but still, not our demon. Just our luck. I think it's your turn. Me? Why me? Why not? Don't worry. <laughs> My parents are so not scary. The fact you're even here shows you care. I know, I just... <sighs> I hope they like me. What's not to like? Besides, we're here for Grandma. Not them. Steven? Hey, it's good to see you again. It's down the hall and to the right. Thanks, Grace. She knows. Yeah, I've been here a lot recently. Grandma's been getting worse. My parents told me today it was important, but I'm not sure why. We were meant to be together. You were supposed to love me. No. I want to warn you about Grandma. Um, she can be a little... No, oh, I understand. Um, we're in a psychiatric ward, if that's what you mean. <laughs> well, she's not violent, just out there. And... You're not kidding you than me! Whoa! Yeah, you hear stuff like that sometimes. I feel for them. They don't choose to be sick. Most people don't even give them the time of day. Act like it's their fault. That's sad. It's good to see you here again, Steven. How's Grandma? Well, she's fine. Just fine, dear. It's better if you just go see her. Mom, Dad, this is my girlfriend, Kate. Oh, uh, why didn't you tell us about her, son? Yeah, Stephen, why didn't you? Because as you can see, they get weird about this kind of stuff. <laughs> Nonsense, Stephen. You only think we do. Can we go see Grandma now? Thanks for the heads up. No, they're just acting weird. Yeah, I'm glad you said it first, but you know, I knew it. You should have told them I was coming. I'm sorry, Kate. It's just that... Ah, uh, this is it. Three-person max. Your friend will have to stay out here. Listen, um, wait outside and I'll come get you after. No, I got it. Hey, Steven. You never told me what was wrong with your grandma. What the? Where's Grandma? Come. Sit. Relax. Mom, what's going on? Now, now, dear. Be still. Mom, what are you doing? Oh, Stephen, don't you know? Grandma's been gone for years. You're the patient here. Now, doctor's orders to take these pills, so you need to. What did you do with Grandma? Oh, Stephen, listen to yourself. You're sick. Now, don't fret. This will calm you down. I'm so... I'm sorry, Mom. Just get back here, Steven! Hey, run! Run! Get back here, Steven! No! You get run. back here, Steven! Steven! No. Get back here now! Steven! There's nowhere to run!
no use. I already tried it. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I guess so. Why is everyone going crazy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Try to remember. Think. My parents. They care about you. I, they've been here helping the doctors. Nobody ever said anything about restraining you. What? You were in on this? Yeah. I work here. No, you don't. You're my girlfriend. We met in school. You've never been here before in your life. You're here for me to visit my grandma. Your grandma hasn't been here in years. Steven, you know this. I visit her all the time, I remember. You used to. I went along with this as part of your rehab, okay? It's, it's what the doctors wanted. <sighs> Steven, think. Do you remember us? walking in together? Of course I do. I mean, everyone knows me because I'm here all the time. Yeah. But as a patient. I did meet you here. Yes. Oh, so I'm crazy now, is that Shh. it? Well, you're you. Something's off. If you work here, then why are you hiding? You're not telling me something. You need to remember on your own. I can't think. You told me you were schizophrenic. No, Grandma is. Well, what are those? Pills they wanted me to take. I thought I'd... Oh my God, I remember, I am a patient. It's strange how you're thinking more clearly as some medicine's wearing off. Let me see. How long have I been here? Months. Wait, these aren't antipsychotics. Oh great, so I'm psychotic now too? No, actually you're not. Look, that's DMT. Not chlorpromazine or haloperidol or whatever you're supposed to be taking. Well, how do you know what it is? DMT comes in many forms. This is one of them. So I'm getting better, not worse. Well, if this is DMT, then these pills aren't preventing my schizophrenia. They're causing it. Throw them away. But I need them. I know I need them. Oh, that's what they want you to think. Throw them away. of what's left in your system, okay? Um, DMT is N-dimethyltryptamine. It's like the strongest psychedelic drug out there. It causes vivid hallucinations. It twists the truth. It makes you forget. How do I know all that? Your studies. Right. I was studying to be a, a psychiatrist. So I'm a student and a patient? That doesn't make any sense. You're almost there, Stephen. What else do you know? Um, I know DMT doesn't last very long, so they must have compounded it with an MOA inhibitor. You need it to wear off in order to get your truth. Oh. My parents think I'm nuts. I need this to wear off now. I need to remember. I. How did I end up here? How do I focus? They're gonna check the stairwell eventually. What do I do, Kate? There's only one way we can go. I got this. Over here!
They're coming back quick. Find somewhere to hide. I can't tell if I'm getting better or worse. If you're a nurse, why are you helping me? I've been taking care of you for a while, and well, we we found love, and ever since I found out what they were doing to you, I I want to help you. DMT. They must have a stash of it somewhere. We have to get rid of it, all of it. But where are they hiding it? I don't know. I have to tell my parents I'm okay. They need to know what's going on. Steven, no. Steven, no. Steven! Okay, listen, I, um... <laughs> 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 what the hell is this? Fight it, Stephen! Fight it! You need your rest. You're not yourself. Take your medication, son. No, M Mom, Dad, I'm not crazy. They've been drugging me. No, <laughs> no, no. You're just having... Oh. Get off me! What kind of father are you? David Capshaw, you'll stop this insanity right now! You're not thinking straight, Stephen. Think. Why would your parents want to keep you here? How could your own mother want to strap you down, inject you with something? What kind of parent would do that to their child? You're right. They wouldn't. They're not really my parents. They're my doctors. Take your pill. Get off of me. They've been drugging me. Tell what you saw. Tell them. I remember. I remember someone died. He's lying. They're paranoid schizophrenic. Pathological liar. Delusional. Nothing he says is credible or makes any sense. It's all in this file. Oh. No. 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 No! Oh, oh, this is now. What the hell is in that? He's dangerous. Sedate the prisoner. Prisoner? You heard that? He said prisoner. I mean patient. No, I remember now. I'm not a patient here at all. I came here one day to visit as a student. I just went to take a leak, but I saw it happen. These two doctors gave some violent patient a sedative to, to calm him down, but it was too much. A seizure like this, he never woke up. I tried to help, and they grabbed me, and strapped me down, must have given me DMT pills. I don't remember anything making much sense after that. Until now. They kept it going to shut me up. They kept feeding me that poison. Why are you two idiots standing there? Can't you see he's dangerous? Sedate him! I have to find the rest of the pills. Steven! The utility room! Oh, thanks, Grace. Wait. Come on. Don't be stupid, Steven. You're sick. We can help you. I don't need help, you sick bastard. You do. No! It had to be done. 
It had to be done. Seems like there's a fine line between doctor and patient. No. No, 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 it had to be done. No, it, no, it had to be done. It had to be done. They may not have enough to get him for the man he killed, but they can get him for what he did to me. Thanks for believing in me. Do you remember everything now? I think it's finally starting to wear off for good. I know. I know it is. But I'm so sorry. For what? The same name tag I wore the day I came here. I'm not real, Steven. You made me up in your own mind. Once the drugs wear off, I'm gone for good. What? No. I can't lose you. Not now. I love you. There must be more somewhere. Steven, you have to let me go. For you. Get your real. Something about you is real. What we have is real. And one day you'll find it again. Kate, no! No. Well, now I'm depressed. It's so sad. I wish there was magic in your story. Maybe then Kate could have stayed. Interesting point, kid. There was nothing supernatural in his story. Yeah. What's that about, Mac? Well, that's not entirely true. The other day, just like she said I would, I saw Kate, right before my eyes, walking down 6th Ave. Are you guys missing the obvious? Steven killed that doctor lady. Of course he did, she's nuts. But he chose to kill her. He didn't have to inject her with that needle, did he? Oh, I don't know, Clint. Maybe they had me really, really doped up on a strong drug. You killed someone too, but you know? he was a demon. Okay, everyone, shut up. You see what he sees, right? If you're watching from the point of view of the certifiably insane... I'm not insane! We don't know that, which makes your story unreliable. If Steven truly was schizophrenic, which I'm not saying you are, my vision would be a bit off. But still, we're not done. There's two of you left. Two cards left. Okay, kiddo. Your turn. Fine, Matt. I'll go next. A girl your age on a train at 3 a.m. doesn't sit right with me. Me neither. Does your mom know you're here? My mom? Like, she cares. Come on, man. She's not the demon. Look at her. She's just a kid. I'm sorry. Is she too young to be a demon? Do you think demons just fall out of the sky at 18? 21? 30? Well, I doubt from the sky. I mean, maybe lower. Like. Is this a joke to you? Do you know how long I've been doing this? The hell I've seen. How long have you been doing this? Long before you were born, pal. Demons are either born into this world through the guise of humans, or a human chooses to become one. Sometimes it takes them a while to know what they are. Sometimes they've always known. Either way, 
No age is too young for pure evil. And we're running out of time.